I want you to meet Carrie Lake. Kerry Lake is a Republican candidate in the 2022 Arizona gubernatorial election. Recently, she did an interview with an Australian reporter from 60 Minutes, and this happened. What I don't like is that people are being held in prison without being charged. That's un-American. Maybe they get away with that stuff in Australia. Australia. Perhaps in Australia, because you've given your rights away, you melted down all of your guns, and you guys have no freedom, that you find that okay. But here in America, we do things differently. We have something called the U.S. Constitution, and we have rights. And we don't take kindly, that, that, that's, we that's, don't take that's, kindly that's, on Americans being locked up for months on end without being charged. So charge them or get off the pot. Regardless of where you stand politically, one thing is true. The only thing that deters governments from overstepping their power and becoming tyrannical is the government realizing that if they go too far, the people have the ability to effectively fight back. The second amendment is the big ass bodyguard at the club. He may or may not lose an actual fight, but he's so big, it deters most people from even trying because even if you do win the fight, you're so bruised and battered, probably wasn't even worth it in the first place. Only three countries in the world protect the right to bear arms in their constitution, the United States, Mexico, and Guatemala. But the US is the only country with the right to keep and bear arms with no constitutional restrictions. That's because the difference between the United States and the rest of the world is that we prioritize freedom of the people, while most other countries prioritize control of the people. Freedom looks dangerous to people who have only experienced soft oppression. When you're used to being under the control of your government, the U.S. style of freedom confuses you. You can't understand why our government will let the people have guns. And that's just it. Our government doesn't have a choice because the Second Amendment wasn't written to tell the people that they have a right to keep and bear arms. It was written to tell the government that they don't have the right to infringe on our right to keep and bear arms. Australia does not have a Bill of Rights and there's no constitutional right to bear arms. The British gave Australia its independence peacefully. The US on the other hand, got it out the mud. It had to fight for its independence. So it wrote its constitution with amendments to protect individual freedoms and prevent tyranny and oppression. In 1996, the Australian government just up and decided to not only ban the most common guns, but destroy them. Our government can't do that here because the founding fathers preserved our right to keep and bear arms in our constitution. Our government has to ask us to give up our rights. They just can't take them. The problem is there are too many people who are willing to give up their two-way rights for the perception of safety, i.e. gun control, being sold by the government. As Americans, we have a responsibility to protect our freedom for the next generation and on. Stop letting people who only want to control you sell you oppression Disguise as safety, because trust me, you'll regret it every single time. Guns aren't political. That's why I need your help getting this message to spread on YouTube by clicking the thumbs up button, leaving a comment to let me know what you think of the video, then subscribing to the channel. But most importantly, click that bell symbol. For products featured in this video, click the links in the description.